Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Turn your King James Bible to Jeremiah chapter 28. This is the continuation of the Jeremiah series. And Jeremiah 28 and verse 1. And it came to pass the same year, in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fourth year and in the fifth month, that Hananiah, the son of Azor, the prophet, which is of Gibeon, spake unto me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priests and of all the people, saying, Now it says here he was a son of Azor the prophet. So I'm wondering if his father was the prophet, not him. Verse two. So he's so he's now going to speak and he dare speak in the name of the Lord. Verse two. Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon. Within two full years will I bring again into this place all the vessels of the Lord's house that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from this place and carried them to Babylon. And I will bring again to this place Jeconiah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, with all the captives of Judah that went into Babylon, saith the Lord, for I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon." Well, I think Jeremiah is going to have something to say about this. What do you think? Verse 5. Then the prophet Jeremiah said unto the prophet Hananiah. Okay, so Hananiah was actually a prophet. Okay. Then the prophet Jeremiah said unto the prophet Hananiah, in the presence of all the priests and in the presence of all the people that stood in the house of the Lord, even the prophet Jeremiah said, Amen. The Lord do so. The Lord perform thy words which thou hast prophesied to bring again the vessels of the Lord's house and all that is carried away captive from Babylon into this place. I don't know if I was saying that mockingly enough, but Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thine ears and in the ears of all the people. And in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. The prophet which prophesied of peace... When the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. Huh. Where do we read about prophets prophesying of peace? Now all you have to do is look at all the wickedness in the world. And you know, if you're a child of God and you've studied the Bible, there's not going to be peace. There's no way. But Paul, the apostle, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, now Thessalonia was a city in Greece, and Paul wrote a, a letter to them, called an epistle in Greek, to the Greeks. And in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, he writes, verse 1, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Now that's for the unbelievers. The unbelievers are, the, the day of the Lord's going to come like a thief in the night. Because to the believers that have actually studied his word, they're going to notice the signs. Christ and the apostles gave us the signs that would come before his coming. 
you know, it's not going to come as a thief in the night to believers, but to the unbelievers. Verse 3. For when they, the unbelievers, for when they shall say, peace and safety. Huh. For when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness. Why? Because we have the light of the world, which is Jesus Christ. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day, what day? The day of the Lord. For ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. You see, believers, it's not, the day of the Lord's not going to overtake you as a thief. Paul tells you right here in verse 4, verse 5. Ye are all children of the light, and children of the day. We are not of night, nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. And when it's talking about sleeping, it's, you know, I think it's spiritually sleeping. So let us watch the signs and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's go back to Jeremiah 28, verse 6, or 9, I'm sorry. The prophet which prophesieth of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, so, you know, when the things he says happens, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. Then Hananiah the prophet took the yoke from off the prophet Jeremiah's ne neck and break it. And Hananiah spoke in the presence of all the people, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Even so will I break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, from the neck of all nations within the space of two full years. And the prophet Jeremiah went his way. Then the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah the prophet. After that, Hananiah the prophet had broken the, neck, uh, the yoke from off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, saying, So here is the Lord says, verse 13, Go and tell Hananiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Thou hast broken the yokes of wood, but thou shalt make for them yokes of iron. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have put a yoke of iron upon the neck of all these nations, that they may serve Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they shall serve him, and I have given him the beasts of the field also. Then said the prophet Jeremiah unto Hananiah the prophet, Hear now, Hananiah, the Lord hath not sent thee, but thou makest this people to trust in a lie. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will cast thee off. I will cast thee from off the face of the earth. This year thou shalt die, because thou hast taught rebellion against the Lord. So Hananiah the prophet died the same year in the seventh month. Wow. Wow. So, from the fifth month to the seventh month, Hananiah died. It, evidently, it seems like he died within two months after Jeremiah prophesied this. You know, speaking in the name of the Lord is something I would dare not ever do. I'll leave that for people like Benny Hinn and Kenneth Copeland and that crowd. 
But uh, one thing I want you to consider, what's going to happen to all those people that teach the pre-trib rapture? God hates false prophets. Absolutely hates them. In 2 Peter 2.1, says, but there were false prophets also among the people. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Oh, yeah. You want to read some harsh words? Ezekiel 14, verse 7. For every one of the house of Israel, or of the stranger that sojourneth in Israel, which separateth himself from me, separates himself from the Lord, which separateth himself from me, and setteth up his idols in his heart, and putteth the stumbling block of his iniquity, or his sin, before his face, and cometh to a prophet to inquire of him concerning me, I, the Lord, will answer him by myself. So here it is, they separate themselves from the Lord, they put up idols in their heart, they've got sin in their lives, and then they dare to come to the prophet to ask him questions concerning the Lord. Uh... And the Lord says, I, the Lord, will answer him by myself, and I will set my face against that man, and will make him a sign and a proverb, and I will cut him off, and I will cut him off from the midst of my people, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. And if the prophet be deceived, when he hath spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. Boy, I tell you what, when I ask people, hey, would, would, would the Lord deceive people? Almost every single person says, oh no, the Lord would never do that. Really? So, are you going to tell me the Bible's wrong? The King James Bible's wrong? Ezekiel 14? Now, this is not talking about prophets that are obedient and be a prophet said, obey the Lord. No, we're talking about like those like Hananiah. Verse 9. And if the prophet be deceived when he hath spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. And I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity the punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. Boy, that's some harsh stuff. You know, people that dare to teach things like the pre-trib rapture, telling people, oh, you're not going to see anything. You're, you're not going to suffer. God would never do that to the church. The church is his bride, and, and God loves his bride. He's not a wife beater. He would never make you suffer or go through trouble and tribulation and, and die for the faith. No way. Uh-uh. Oh, that's for the other guys. That's for everybody else. Boy, I tell you what. All these pre-trib rapture churches ought to read uh, the book of Acts about how Apostles were killed and stoned. And no, they weren't smoking that good weed they sell out in Colorado at the, the cannabis uh, CBD place. No, 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 no. No, they were getting stoned all right, but it didn't feel too good, I'm sure. So, yeah. People that 
say that God would never deceive people. They don't even know the character of God. They don't know his character. Sometimes God will harden people's hearts because they harden their own heart. And that's scary, people. That's scary. It really is. So you, when you come to the Lord, you better come to him on his terms. So, all right, well, I hope you uh, found this interesting. That's the end of Jeremiah chapter 28. So after Jeremiah prophesied that about Hananiah, Hananiah died within two months, it evidently. So, all right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' precious name, amen.